Last week, UCSD Moore's Cancer Center researcher and professor of pathology, Napoleon Ferrara, got a phone call telling him he had won a whole lot of money for a new breakthrough prize in life sciences. Dr. Ferrara, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. What went through your mind when you got this phone call telling you you had won how much money? The prize it was a three million dollar for each of the winners. There, 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 there was a total of eleven winners. I was certainly very, very surprised. You know, first of all, because I, uh, I never heard about this prize, which is understandable because that was the first time that this prize was was, was given. You know, at least in life science, a so similar prize has been given to physics. Well, I was really stunned by, 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 by even the magnitude of the prize, which is believed to be the largest, you know, the richest, you know, scientific prize in life sciences. Tell us about the foundation that awarded you uh, this money and, and why they did it. Well, I learned, you know, subsequently about the foundation. Actually, they, they issued a very nice press release on uh, from UCSF on on, the, on February 20th. Actually, it's probably online, and so people can they can gather more details. But w w w uh, there are some really giants, some titans in the, in the in the Silicon Valley, in the tech you know, world, including the founder of uh, Facebook of. Uh, Google, you know, as well as the chairman of, uh, of Apple, which is Dr. Art Levinson. And, and also there is an, a Russian investor, Mr. Yuri Milner, who is a really a, is the one who instituted the physics prize. So, so there is a very convergence of very, 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 very uh, insightful and powerful people. The idea, though, is to maybe perhaps inspire, make science more popular. There's, there's actually a motive behind uh, having it besides rewarding, uh, let's say, these great scientists. Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, there are all of the above. I think the main intent was to, to, uh, to make it appear, to inspire younger people, to, to, to convince them that, you know, science is not some kind of, you know, tedious, you know, and then rewarding you know, or pursuit, you know, if you, if, if you have a success, if you enjoy science, as a, it, to be successful, you must enjoy it, you know, there could be even some financial rewards. Rewards. Let me read what uh, Mark Zuckerberg, who is on the foundation, actually said. He said, quote, the breakthrough awards aim to recognize excellence in research aimed at curing intractable diseases and extending human life. What research uh, are you doing that fit into that category that landed you this prize? Well, the research uh, I've been working on for the almost, you know, three decades on, on the same topic now, which is uh, uh, blood vessel growth, you know, which is, of course, is a, not only it's a very fundamental biological question, or physiological question, but as we learn over the many decades, you know, blood vessels have played an important role in tumors uh, and also, interestingly, in some eye disorders like, you know, like age-related you know, macular degeneration or the diabetic retinopathy. It, and I want people to know there's more than a million Americans with macular degeneration. Is that the research you're doing right now? Yes, actually. But there, there are two, uh, interesting, there are two different types of macular degeneration. One is called the dry form and one is the wet or neovascular form. Even though the neovascular form accounts for about, you know, 20% of the cases, but is, is responsible for over 80% of the cases of blindness. So the, this blood vessels are very destructive, and, uh, and so even though there is a uh, relatively lesser, uh, fewer p p patients are affected by the, by the new vascular form, that is the most you know, devastating. So the research you're doing right now at the cancer center could directly impact uh, how macular de degeneration is either discovered or treated or... or well, I, I, I would like to, to, to say that I've, uh, I just joined the cancer center two months ago, about you know two months ago. All of my, the, this research actually took place when I was a, a scientist, uh, actually at Genentech, you know, in a, with a okay. biotech you know, company. In the Up Bay in the Air. San Francisco Bay Area. In the yeah. San Francisco mm -hmm. Bay Area. Actually began when I was a postdoc at UCSF in the early 80s, etc. So, so at Genentech, we were able to isolate it, to, to discover a, a critical factor which is regulating you know, blood vessels. And so we've been able to uh, develop, you know, uh, antagonist to this factory uh, with you know two different you know lines of you know therapeutic applications. So a, a lot of different and applications. ID, cancer and eye diseases. Okay, uh, what uh, will your research be here at UCSD's uh, Morse Cancer Center? What what are you going to be targeting next? Are you still continuing with the? I, uh, I think there is a lot you know to do in this field. You know, I think it's a wonderful field. You know, the fact that we we had you know some uh, clinical you know results because once again you know, this. Uh, uh, the, the research I did, you know, brought you know to two different drugs. One is called Avastin, one is called Lucentis, uh, and we, we learned a lot, you know, about you know what you can accomplish by blocking angiogenesis. But also, we understood, you know, the limitation, uh, why some patients uh, respond, you know, better than others. 
And so I think well, this is one of the line of research I want you know, to pursue here at uh, UCSD and, and, uh, and of course at you know, the Kansas Center is to try to understand you know, better about this process. Well, congratulations again, and we will be following your research. And thanks so much for sharing your uh, story of good fortune with us here. Thank you very much.